Hello friends, welcome to programming knowledge. In our earlier videos, we saw that if we want to modify or update the values present in our table, then we can use update table command. Now, if we want to modify or alter the structure of the table also, then we can do this with the help of alter table command. So, let us first open terminal. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p okay so databases so we have data test database here just use that Now, let us see which are the tables present in our database. As you can see, we have student table and temp table. So, for this particular example, we use temp table because we don't want to uh, uh, modify the student table. Okay. So, let me first see, select star from okay so it has no values let us see describe table okay so as you can see it has only one column id and it has integer data type so let us first see if you want to add a column a new column in your table then how do you do that so write alter table and then specify the table name in our case it is 10 then write add then the name of the column that you want to create let us create name and the data type write where care let's say 40 and the if you want to specify any constraint like null not null primary key we specify null here okay so it can be null and fire now run again describe table as you can see the new column has been added in our type table and it has type of worker and maximum less is 30 as we specified here okay now if you want to add multiple columns at once then now write alter table the name of the column that you want to insert let's say surname data type let's say 30 of length and it can be null now I want to add another column oops insert add here alter table then name of the table then add new column name surname and it has worker of data type and length is 30 and it can be null now we want to add another column name let's say salary integer let's say 100 and it can be null also okay now fire describe temple as you can see 
two new fields or columns has been added in our temp table that is surname and salary so now if you want to modify a column that have already present in your table then we use modify write alter table then name of the table now modify now mm, we have salary is int and hundred now let's say I want to change the data type of salary to where cap okay and in real world salary cannot be in where cap but uh, for the sake of understanding uh, let us change the data type of salary to where cap so modify salary to worker let's set 10 and it can be null okay as you can see the data type of salary has been changed you can also change the null constraint we can set the, we can set it to null because salary can be null but if we want it to be not null okay as you can see now if you want to delete or drop a column in your table then we can use drop column command write alter table then name of the table drop column and then name of the column that you want to delete now uh, I want to delete salary column okay so I write salary press enter describe table to see the structure of your table as you can see the salary has been removed from our table now, now if you want to rename the column in your table then we can use change column command write alter table the name of the table then change column the old name of the column that are present in your table let's say id and i want to change it to roll number okay now you have to specify the definition of that column definition by mean the data type and the constant so the data type is int 11 it can it it can it can't be null okay enter as you can see the name of the id has been changed to roll number now if you want to rename the entire table then also you can do it with the help of alter command write alter table name of the table rename to we use a rename to then the new name of the table that you want to give let's say temp2 okay now we use show tables as you can see the name of the table has been changed 
from temp to temp2. So these are the example of operations that you can perform using alter command and now just close this open mysql workbench uh, let us see one example let us add one column in temp table okay we change the name of the ten okay alter table the name of the table temp2 add we want to add let's say salary int 100 it can be null okay for this Describe once again as you can see salary is added to our table and all the operations that we have performed in our terminal the same operation you can perform in MySQL workbench there will be no difference okay thanks for watching it